Straight ahead on Saturday today in New York, Chicago has been a hit for more than a year. Up next, we're going to sit down with two actresses from the Broadway musical. You had fun with that interview. They are hilarious. They really are. Coming up later, we'll show you some ideal wedding gifts for someone you know tying the knot this summer. But first, a new exhibition at a Soho Art Gallery explores the many roles women fulfill in the home. But the artist who painted those images is a man. Linda Vaccaro takes a look at his work in this week's Visiones. The colors evoke images of the Caribbean, not unusual for an artist who hails from the Dominican Republic. These examples of what artist Germán Pérez calls his red period were inspired by the birth of his son and are a tribute to women. I was on the body rule and there was a lot of blood involved and that created a sense to me that women is fire and is, the blood is very present in, in the life of the women. And on the other hand, men, if we cut ourselves in the hand, we cry like a baby. The red period began after creating cover art for a book by fellow Dominican Julia Alvarez about women's roles in the household. That cover art shows a woman reading a poem, but at the same time thinking about all the work she needs to do, like ironing clothes. As a man, I never, I, I help in my house, but I never thought all the attention that women put in the, in the housekeeping. Perez is married to a cable television journalist and says he thought about her for the work shown on the right, a man carrying a house. But the painting reveals the person actually holding it together is a woman. The paintings are on display here at the Monique Goldstrom Gallery in Soho. The gallery's owner says it's her mission, and she feels it should be that of museums as well, to display more works by Latino artists. And I feel that the Latin American community is sometimes overlooked and in the next few years we're going to have 30, 35 million Latinos. So what are we doing about it? And I feel that the museums have to really look into this and I feel that a lot of attention has to be put onto to the galleries as well. And Perez's paintings have been shown in Norway, Brazil, and Washington, D.C. Recently, he created two cows for New York's cow parade, one of them purchased by chef Alan Ducasse. In the early 1990s, Perez received praise during his blue period about the immigration experience, using images of indigenous peoples dreaming of the home they left behind. The Taino mythology was very related to the water, to the sea. And you know the the Tainos have a curse about the night. They, they, don't, they cannot go outside during the day, they have to go at night. And I was trying to recreate the night in my paintings, but the Caribbean night that is deep blue is not black. Germán Pérez's works will be at the Monique Goldstrom Gallery on Lower Broadway until June 13. For Visiones, I'm Linda Becaro.